Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It's now time for This Week in Geek. It is January 9th, 2016. Yeah. There you yes. go. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. So let's start with the birthday boy. Happy uh, birthday. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. 12 years Mr. old President. today. Happy birthday, Mr. President. No? I don't even get that song. Actually, yeah, Edward turned 16 this week and got his driver's license. So if you drink too much coffee and need to ride home, he's your guy. Edward has two speeds, stop and pedal to the metal. That's it. Yeah. All right. Don't tell Ruth. Somehow She's not I here. passed. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's like living his Fast and Furious dreams right now. He's playing Gran Torino in his I just need real to buy life. that car now that's on sale. Well, he, he, yeah, did you see that? The Jetta's on sale? You're going to get a regular Jetta, though. <laughs> yes. Nope. All right. So well, who are you? Matchbox car. I'm ghost of This Week in Geek and of Geek Fight. Is that what yes. it's called? Geek yeah. Duel. Geek Duel. Geek. Close Wait, enough. Marth, is it Geek Close Duel? Close enough. How about, du- how about Dueling Geeks? With a no. Z. With a Z. That's a little new show. I'm yeah. like Geeks I've podcast. already made that show now. It's our third. <laughs> and uh, and Edward, next to you Edward, is my, uh, my name is Alil Kanitsa. I uh, host a show called the League of Geeks podcast. And that's Geeks with a Z, as well as Sports Geeks. Um, also on this show, uh, enough said uh, with Rob and some others. Sports Geeks. Some others. And that's, you're on Real Idiots you? now too. Re- oh, that's right, Real Idiots. Yes. Butter Lil is on Real Idiots. Real Idiots. <laughs> With a Z and With, an S. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Q and a 4 in there, Real Idiots. We don't know how that works. <laughs> right. And on the end... Uh, my name is Chris Mao. I am co-owner of Blue Box Cafe, which we are recording at right now, and co-host of several shows and guests on other shows and listeners of listening, uh, listener Listen, of other shows. Listener of other shows. And, and all uh, sorts of stuff. And soon to be on uh, a panel at C2E2. We found out this week, everybody. Woo! We've got another panel. We're doing C2E2. We're doing the Geektastic Cage Match. So Ow! we will let you know when and where. But, yeah, that's going to be a good one. And we're going to make some changes to it you guys don't know about yet. So Uh-oh. get ready. Yep. You're going to tell do, us the do questions I have you're going yeah, to ask? Do I have to change? Do I have to wear, a, like, a sumo suit and... Ooh. Fight, yes, because it's cage match. Lucha, like you a luchador, just, Lucha, just the mask. But and you're gonna, the, it's the gonna diaper. Be, but you're gonna be in the luchador mask and a David Lee Roth with the assless chaps. It's gonna be awesome. Love it. Yes. I'm in. I picked that just for you, Alil. I'm in. I that know. will be the biggest panel at C2E2. Yep. Weight wise. Wait wise. Well, I was gonna say by weight wise. <laughs> pounds per square inch. Edward, we got you're the out. Biggest Sorry. Panel at C2E2. You're out. <laughs> you know what? He's I'm the gonna biggest, put that on the description. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest panel. Per square inch. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and I'm Rob Southgate. Okay. Oh, co-owner of Southgate Media Group. All right. Let's do. <laughs> let's do this thing. Uh, did you introduce yourself, Chris? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yes. I so did. I got one I want to bring up right away, uh, just because this is this was in the geek news, but it's not one that probably hit your radar. Did you guys see about the uh, the movie theater in Holton, Maine? Did you guys see this story? No. No. Talk there is a it. movie theater in Holton, Maine, and you better act quick if you want to do this because the deadline is January 15th. They are having an essay contest. The winner of the contest wins the movie theater. How awesome is that? And all the debt that comes yeah, well, with Yeah, you get all the <laughs> debt and, uh, you know. Does Arnold show up? All you can show is Jingle All the Way, 24-7. So that's unfortunate for you. That's a great film. Yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> yeah. Great uh, with an eight. <laughs> yeah, great with an eight and a Z. Uh, so, yeah, man, if you are interested in winning a movie theater in Holton, Maine, wherever that is. Well, it's in Maine. I uh, Surprise, it's in Maine. Uh, if you're interested in winning a movie theater... <coughs> You got till January 15th to start writing. And if you go to joeblow.com, the story is on there, and it's got all the the requirements for it, which are basically write a good essay. So the two movies they're showing today are... Are you looking at the theater? Yeah. What are they showing? Star Wars and The Force Awakens and... Really? Yeah. And (laughs) your favorite? Road (laughs) Chip. Yes. That is the two for to go with. When when I was a kid, we went to Colorado, and our our friend's uh, aunt and uncle owned the only movie theater in... Estes Park, my mom with the assist there, thank you. And uh, they showed, I, I remember as a kid, I watched Herbie the Love Bug, awesome. Uh, it, was, it was current at that time, that tells you how old I am. 
And the other was movie that the last showed, movie you went to when it was released? Yeah, that was the last one I stayed awake through. Uh, and and the other one they showed, and they showed it every night for years, was Thoroughly Modern Millie. Ooh. No, don't say you. That, that's that's all right. It's like a good years. story. Could you imagine watching it over and over and over and over? Now, if it was Star Wars, I could understand. If it was Reanimator, I could understand. <laughs> oh, I could watch Reanimator every night. Every night. How about Chud? Could you watch Chud every I could, night? I've watched Chud probably more than I should have. I mean... More than one? Less than two? Oh. It's, I like Chud. It's not a bad movie. Significantly more than one. I, I would say it's probably in viewings in my, in my top 30 that I've seen. I mean, uh, volume, yeah. which is horrible because it's terrible. Wow. It's terrible 30. and great. It, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a horribly a phrase, great movie. It's no, awful. I know. All right. Alil, are you feeding back? Feed back. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to talk softer. Carry a big stick. I'm going to kill, kill, kill him kill. softly. <laughs> With Leave your this. song. Yeah, start singing a little. Gummy bears, they are my favorite. <laughs> That's the only song I've ever heard him sing. <laughs> so, all right. Who's got one? I had to get that movie theater blockage out. I got one. Yeah. All right. So, this weekend, Wizard World started the you know their Comic-Con for 2016. Uh, they're down in New Orleans. Yes. And I'm and not, jealous. Not drinking at all. Probably not. That's, sure. I love New Orleans. You know, they're, you know, not right before Mardi Gras. No. Um, they're down there, and I'm jealous because Chris Evans is down there. The Russo brothers are down there. Like, everyone who's a part of Civil War seems to be down there. And they did a panel and an interview, and they, said they, they were talking about an Infinity War. And they said, oh, I, didn't, I didn't hear this. I saw the yeah. pictures just before we came in. They said that the fans will not be disappointed in the amount of superheroes and Marvel heroes in Infinity War. Basically, they're going to be true to the universe, and it is a Marvel universe. Oh, man. So they're film. doing space. They're doing all of it. So, Which means Micronauts and Rob might show up. Well, no. Maybe Marvel Godzilla? <coughs> That'd be awesome. Well, I'm thinking more of Defenders. Jessica Jones, yes. Defenders, oh, yeah. Luke, Cage, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. You know, because we we've been which was yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it was. It was called Machine Man or something, Robot Man, originally. Sorry, no, so, that's okay. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so I'm more excited because that means this might be the first time where the television and the movies yes. can be combined. Yes. And that's what I'm, we've been all hoping for. Yes. Daredevil. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, right. Iron Fist, S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., well, all those. That point, Punisher. Yeah, Punisher, everything. Elektra, everybody. Moon Knight should be by then. spider Woman. Hopefully. Yes. So, yes. And Edward will be old enough to see it by then. That's, yes. Actually, by then, he'll actually get to watch Deadpool the first time. <laughs> Hopefully he has like a month to catch him on all the movies he needs to watch straight by the time the movie Edward, it's up. only 730 sleeps till you can see these movies. <laughs> Just don't. I got to laugh. <laughs> nice. That was pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> I so, how you sound surprised. <laughs> well, was, I did the math actually... quick. I got my shoe off fast. Um, all right. Yeah, man. I'm, I didn't get to read any of this. I'll... Bree Pye, who we interviewed, is also there this weekend. She had a bunch of pictures, and she had a, a picture of some cosplay. There was a guy dressed in, as Ronald McDonald Thor. Did you guys Ooh, see this? Nice. That's awesome. It was, it was terrifying. He hangs out at Jackson Square every night in, just in New Orleans. He's just down there. No, what, the <laughs> McDonald Thor? Yeah. Yikes. You're not worthy to eat this McDonald's. Chicken. Uh, all right. You pick up this Big Mac and you can yeah. have it. But well, only Thor, only Mick Thor is worthy enough to pick up a Big Mac. All right. The it's jokes terrible, are getting worse. Jokes, all right. Terrible come jokes. on. Somebody give me something good. Uh, Pacific Rim, which has been rumored to be on again, off again, is now off. Yeah. Maybe forever, unfortunately. But you know what? It's off until he has a hit, and then he says, "Okay, I'm going to lobby this into making Pacific Rim too." That's really what it is. Yeah. He's going to do it until. He has enough good press that he can easily get Pacific Rim out. Right. But speaking of Guillermo del Toro and his massive body of movies that are apparently coming out over the next 40 years, uh, did you see he's in negotiations to do uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Voyage? Fantastic Voyage. Do you care about a Fantastic Voyage reboot? I mean, no. do you, 
does anybody care about that? I mean, but like, you know what I think it would I love be the original kit. It's kitschy and cool. Right, and, it would but, be cool with his <laughs> characters to do yeah. that movie. Reboot. They've said reboot. So yeah, they they want to reboot it, and then they can make the second novels, the second film, because they think they'll have a big hit. But unfortunately, right. I don't think this thing's ever going to hit celluloid. I just don't. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. All right, but also speaking of Netflix, and then I'll I'll let you guys. Well, talk. there's more Gilmore with Netflix. There's two two things. Go for it. And I'm just going to address the Guillermo one, and then you can have the other one. Oof. Guillermo is doing an animated series on FX, right? Or is it Netflix? FXX, I thought. Yeah, yeah. It? yeah. It's it, Troll Hunters. But now, I it's think, not right? the Troll Hunter movie that we love. This is something right. different. Right. And I also think it's coming to Netflix. I think it's Netflix, and then it's going to be running on FXX. Right. Is that what it is? I think yeah. it's premiere on Netflix. Premiere right? on is Netflix, it, and right. then it's going to... Because isn't that what they're doing with Better Call Saul? Premiering on Netflix, and then going... No, no, Better Call Saul is on AMC. No, it's premiering on Netflix first, and then going to go... And then go and, to and the AMC. Second season yep, then, then they'll... No, the second season is premiering, and then it's going to go to... Yeah. To AMC. AMC. So it's gonna, the second season is going to be on Netflix, and then it'll go to AMC. No, the premiere is going to be on Netflix, and then they're going to... Roll it into the season. So the <laughs> the second the premiere of the second season is going to be on Netflix, yes. and then they're going to show. Got it? Not not Hulu. Okay. I'm just saying that's what you right. I just read Man, that. Man, I got spun around there for a second. <coughs> did you guys see the the trailer for Better Call Saul two? I did. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I love that show. That was. Did you guys watch it? I you I, I did. It. Nope. I, I plan on binging it. I just didn't. I haven't had a chance. It, well, it's not on Netflix yet, right? I don't think so. I can't. You remember. watched it. Though. I did watch did it. Did you guys amazing. watch it? Did you guys watch Better Call Saul? It's so good. You I have, have no waited. idea how good this show is, and I love you, that. You have that, taste, is that what you said? They, they I have ways it, to binge it. They called it comedy noir, and I'm like, that is the perfect <clears throat> name for this because it's dark. Oh yeah. It's Breaking Bad, but it's funny. It's great. Scott's shaking it's neurotic. Head. It's well. It's it's the it's the perfect combination. It's like Larry David and yes, and you know I love that. Yeah, it's, so. it's fantastic. All right, I'll shut up. Are we going to talk it. about Voltron? Doubt it. Uh, yes. Right. What? So Voltron, which is an '80s Japanimation style cartoon, if which was awesome, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, yeah. is coming. You to like Netflix. that better than Thunder than Thundercats? Yes. Yes, I'm and Thundercats is great. I, I'm a, I love Thundercats, yeah. but I, Voltron to me but was, was the say, far superior cartoon. I would say Voltron and Thundercats Voltron are the good. one-two punch, though. Those are probably the two best of that era. People will say Transformers, but that wasn't nearly. That was just kind of cool, but those two are good. Voltron's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's funny. I, be, love, I love the Transformers. I, I, it's hard not to love the Transformers. No, it's not. I mean, it's... But you look at a lot of those cartoons back in the 80s. I mean, the 80s, are, to me, I've been showing my kids a lot of 80s stuff. Mm-hmm. And it just seems like it's, it was a special time. Things were actually new. Like, now sure. everything is just redone. So it, it, they don't have that feeling of, like, I haven't seen this before. Right. You know, because the kid, my kids now are watching, like, the real Ghostbusters cartoons and all, those, all that stuff that yeah. I grew up on, and that's what they're excited about. But they don't care about any of the new stuff. Edward does. I like Deadpool. Well, I do, so you're not wrong. I know. Did, did Edward Puppet Deadpool? win the Deadpool Puppet? <laughs> that gold Deadpool the I posted? Gold, yes. The bootleg gold Deadpool from China? Yes. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, who made a 10 inch gold Deadpool? That's just crazy. Copycat, uncopyright, you know. Yeah, that looks cool. Though. Unlicensed, it was very cool. All right. Go ahead, Edward. Who's got one? Edward's got Edward? one. Edward, go. Uh, sure. So, obvi- almost obviously, <laughs> Uh, they released that Krang is going to be in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. Yes, the Krang. The Krang. Okay. The Krang. Yes. And it's going to be Edward. I'm <laughs> with you. I would have just called him Krang. I don't. Whatever. Well, in the new Turtles cartoon now on Nickelodeon, which is actually is is a, a great cartoon. The Krang are not. There are a, a great, bunch of people. Wait, a great cartoon. I think it's great. The new cartoon. Really. 
I'm a big I've fan. I've watched it. I'll have to watch this. I'm a big fan. I, I watched it with my kids. I tried to watch it. I couldn't get through it. Yeah, well, you have no taste. And we've already, we've like, already established that. Okay. Wow. You think Vin Diesel should win an Oscar, so... Now, I think you've spent too much time with me. Now you're talking about like did, did he say he thought Medellin should win an Oscar? No, I think so. Or whatever The Last Witch Hunter is the best movie of 2015, according to him. Um, uh, second best. <laughs> no, but... but um, so in that cartoon now that the kids know, they're actually a whole alien species. But when we were growing up in kids, it was just one, one, pers- one brain what? thing in yeah, a giant robot... And that's, what they're, and that's what they're going to have in the movie. The movie's going to throw back. Gum? Exactly, throw okay. back to the 90s cartoon. So they call them Great. Daleks in the rest of the world. Daleks, yes. 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 I don't know so anything about Dr. Do you Dr. care? No, <laughs> Did I do. you say I, this look good to you? No. A little said that. I didn't like what it looked like. Bus. A little? Looked, okay, a little said it was a little. I like really the, good. I liked the trailer. I didn't say I, I hated the first movie. I, I, I really did. Right. First movie's terrible. I watched the trailer again today because of the, the, the Krang. And you know what? I kind of went to the other side. I was actually kind of enjoying the trailer today. So I, I might be down with it. it. I'm not, like, excited. This is not, you know, one that's on my radar going, oh, I can't wait. But I, I think this might be the right direction. Maybe the first one, maybe part of the problem was they're trying to make it too... New. Well, too... too Dark, uh, yeah. Too, like to like they they were they were not walking the right line with it. Right. They 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 were trying initially to Batman Begins it. Yes. Yeah, that's and, right. I like to say and the, the failure work. of the failure of Amazing Spider-Man one and two is Batman Begins. Right. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's do what Nolan did, but you're not Chris Nolan, and this character is not Batman. Right. right. Batman is the only character you can do that with. Right. Um. And that's my that's my problem with Man of Steel as well. Like it's if they did a Rorschach Batman movie, Begins. they could do it with him. Rorschach could do it, and we yes. would watch Watchmen last week, and I love that character. Yeah, so do I. Not Horseshack. Ooh, ooh, and a Horseshack ooh, movie ooh. could do it too, Mister Cutter. Mister Cutter. Juan Epstein. Yes, Juan Epstein. Edward, that's a trick you got to do. You got to when when we're picking on you too much, you have to say, "I've got a note from Ed, from Edward's mother," and then you hand us a note that says, <laughs> "Edward's mother, my son." Edward's mother. Yes. Okay. Signed, Edward's mother. Or just say what, what, what? I think you could Alil, do that. You could do no, that impersonation pretty well. I, well, sure, but Alil is our Vinnie Barbarino. I am. I think I'm. Uh, I might be one. You're Mr. Woodman. <laughs> I'm Mr. Woodman. No, <laughs> I don't think I'm. Mis- He's crabby. But I maybe I'm. Uh, let's see. Who would I be if you're? If you're? If you're John Travolta's character, what was his name? Vinnie Barbarino. <laughs> Why am I and John you're, He's got to be Juan Epstein. No, Horseshack. Which one of us he's is... He's got to be Horseshack, absolutely. Which one of us... Oh, he's Horseshack. He's Horseshack. So totally. one of us is Boom Boom Washington, and one of us is... You, I'll go Boom Boom. I take I'll take your Boom Boom, then no I'm what Juan Epstein. About. You never saw Mr. Co- or Welcome Back, Cotter? He's Woodman. Scott is our Woodman. He's yes. Woodman. <laughs> Mr. Woodman. <laughs> what, what's all this fun, Cotter? <laughs> Oh, can I be? Yes. Can I be? No, Gabe Kaplan. He's totally Gabe Kaplan. No, he's Vinny Barbarino. Who's Vinny? Are you Vinny Barbarino? No, I don't want to be Vinny Barbarino. I'm Gabe Kaplan. Yep, I'm Gabe. Is this Kaplan. personal experience? Do, he does bad impressions. <laughs> Hello. 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 Happy. All right. But you are definitely Boom Boom Washington. I'll be, I'll be Boom Boom. I'm gonna try to circle this back. I think he's Epstein. Wow. Look at the hat. <laughs> He could I, be Epstein. I just can't bring Martha it back in. It's, it's, it's before you were even born, so. Martha's Horshack. All right. So All right. what else do we have here? I got something here that is kind of exciting, but I don't know if it's exciting. Kind of exciting. I love The Walking Dead. Yes. Great series. Yes. And AMC has basically put it out there that there is no end in sight for this series. Correct. Right. Which so is, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Like It's a great thing. It's great. Because the comic book has not lost any steam. There is still, they have like another three years of material before they're caught up to the comics. And, and guess what? By the time they've hit those three years, there'll be another three years of material worth, at least. Because they, they don't go year by year with the comics. No. Right. Well, and, and so, and, and they the first half of last season is basically, no spoilers, a, like three, a day and a half. Right. It's, it's there like is three a, days. It's like crazy. There's a ton of material to pull from oh, sure. going sure. forward. And it's different. <laughs> So, and, and, and did you hear that they were talking about doing a third series? Another spinoff. So we've got Fear, which is six to eight episodes, and then another spinoff. 
Fear the Walking Canadian Dead. I don't know what oh, they're well, they Make that happen! But, but zombie Mounties. A? <laughs> they, they, they all say A. It'd be great. Zombie Bigfoot shows and Yeah, instead of, instead of uh, A. I would, that would be crazy. All, the zombies are really nice and passive. That's right. <laughs> I was going to eat you. And they're just eating tree bark because they want the maple syrup. Yes. That's it. They're all alive. It's a secret. Nobody told anybody so. Well, I mean, to, to, to just think that how, only how people in Atlanta be? survived is ridiculous. Yeah. So they could do that everywhere. They but could do every time Chicago. The they attack. could do L.A. They could do everywhere. Every time the zombies attack, they all yell, take off, eh? And then they run off. That's, That's right. hilarious. See, I got one laugh. I had to get that joke out. Actually, it would be interesting to see it not Edward, Edward can't see... Right. Not here, you know what I mean? Like the outbreak in a place that like we're not familiar with. Right. Like you know, go to like China. Yes. So go don't to do, like don't do London because we saw uh, what is twenty eight days later, twenty eight yeah, weeks. Yeah, the one with yeah. Sandra Bullock. Um, but but go go. <laughs> and Vigo Mortensen. Yes. Oh right. wait. Yes. Yes. That was a zombie yeah, movie. That the acting. Do China. Do. Well, like World War Z did. Yes. North Korea Where, and all, all that over. stuff. I mean, that was but that crazy was like, good. That was snippets. You know right. what I mean? Like. Imagine a season where you're following characters and actually learning about them in their everyday lives and everything. And you guys ever play? Uh, than us. You guys ever play Resident Evil Five? Not, takes, not the, five. The beginning part of it takes place in South Africa, and a lot of people said, "Oh, it's a racist game because you had to kill South Africans." Uh, it's in South Africa. It's not being racist. Right. <laughs> There's a zombie outbreak. But I think that would be what they'd run into if they did a series there. But that would be sure. amazing because think about. The, the living conditions. I have a zombie oh, outbreak yeah. in India. Oh, yeah. In, in, oh, my well, gosh. That'd well, be any, crazy. any place there's a density of people, it's, it's over in a hurry. It just, you can't stop. How it. about one in Palatine? <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Schomburg. Yeah, look right here. It's a nice sign. I nice can take my sign the, off. The tape is bad. Fear yeah. the walking dead of Elgin. Fear the walking tape of the sign. Yeah, the walking uh, dead of Elgin. Oh, be, you know, that it, happens every Halloween here. That's right. It does. Yep. It's very good, too. It's very good. So. Is it, would it be like uh, Dawn of the Dead? They just all come back into the blue box. Mm-hmm. We're all like standing outside shuffling. Chris is like, no, no. <laughs> they came here when they're alive. They won't leave. That's right. So, You guys have money? You want to come in? <laughs> <laughs> He's just pickpocketing them all. It's like, oh, you got a coffee. <laughs> it would be great. If, I get great experience in my D- live action D&D game. <laughs> Stealing pick, pick and pockets. Be like, but you did it from zombies. Ah, I still got it. <laughs> there you go. Gold pieces are gold pieces. So. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That'd be Megan's great. out there just shooting them all. That's right. Just killing them awesome. all. Just blast them all. See, there was hey, a Megan shout out did, there. Did you guys hear that they're thinking about doing a Deadwood movie? Did you guys see yes. Deadwood was on HBO? Yeah. I saw, I saw oh. some episodes. I didn't watch the whole series. It, Ian McShane was absolutely fantastic in that. Um, yeah. It, it would be great if they could pull that off. You haven't so. seen Well, you haven't well, seen it. Well, yeah, seen he wouldn't. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fantastic. I, I loved that show. That was great. The thought of doing a, a series, once again, by the time it comes out as a right. movie... Edward's old enough. It will be so. Just the whole thirty sleeps. The, the first, the first season and a half were really, really good. After that, it kind of, I thought, lost a little steam. They just ran out of stuff to do. But the first couple were good. Amazing, yeah, yeah. Well, I think they knew the end was was near. Yeah. When, when they did that last season, so it just kind of yeah. got a little muddy. Um, that happens. Sure. You That's know? hard. Well, you know, I mean, we've talked about it. Where, hey, we have this great idea for a show. What were you going to do, season two? What season two? We just wanted to get the first one made. So yeah. it's it's like Sopranos. As much as I love the Sopranos, mm-hmm. if you look at the last season where they knew this is the last season, the first half, not good. No, tough to watch. And then it gets good again, but it's like wow, they had to make up some ground to make it good again. They did. So, so I think that's what happened there. Um, okay, let's do this one. Shatner is not in Star Trek Three. There have been all those rumors, mainly from him, that he's going to be in it. And Wait, they the officially o- said he's the, not in the it. The original? He wasn't in it? They just, they just erased <laughs> yeah, him? Yeah, right. They just, they, they've cr- George they Lucas left, now you imagine the that? <laughs> all they left the three was his hair. No, nothing his body. It's just his hair running now around. Now it's Captain in Jar Jar. It's been <laughs> eradicated. And there's a musical number. Um, <laughs> that would be amazing. No, but Shatner, and they, the rumor was, and I'm telling you, it came from Shatner himself, I'm sure of it, was that he was going to be in as Kirk. Like old Kirk, like they did with Spock. Oh no, they're going to do that with me. I'll be old Kirk. No, you won't. That sounds just they would like pick, a bad idea. They would pick everybody else in the crew Chris, except him right. to be in the yes. movie. Chris, Chris Pine would see him and be like, I turn into you? 
<laughs> Blaster to the head. Right. Phaser to the head. That's it. I'm done. No, I, 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 I like Shatner. I'm not, you know, it's, it's all a joke. I never thought he was going to be in it. No, I thought I thought he was just turning that. You know, well, he, already, he was. He, he saw was, all his old friends getting into movies, right. and he's like, "If Carrie Fisher can get back into Star Wars, yeah. I can get back." Well, into he something. already did his go back in time in in generations, generations, whatever. I mean, and that was a really good story. Right. The way they the way they did that with they the did a nice time wrap thing up and, with him and everything. Yeah. Leave it alone. Right. He's, but he, you know, he was trying to get in there, and <laughs> they shut I, the door on it. I want Picard in there. That would be good. Have have them. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've Picard. established in well, the universe of time travel. In, well, they did it with generations. The same thing you just talked about. Right. Kirk I know, but I'm and, just saying. Let's say they could bring Picard into this. They could bring other people. Oh, sure. Let's bring Cisco in. You know, let's, let's bring them all. Let's bring everybody in. Let's bring Jane them all in. White, everybody Jane but, but Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? That would be just. But you know what? That we would will be cast perfect. him in Canadian Walking Dead. So he's in. He's he, in. He will be our Rick. In yes. the Canadian Walking Dead. Oh my God! It will be him. Come on. It'll be him <laughs> and a Rick Moranis. If you can get Rick Moranis out of retirement, yes, I, we That's will. Right. For this, he will. He'll do it. I know he will. He'll do it for and, us. And we're personal friends. Is we're it, big fans. Dave, was it Dave? What's what's the Dave other? Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas. I was going to say Dave, Dave Coulier. Martin. Dave Coulier. No, you know what? I'm Coulier. out. <laughs> I'm not a Coulier fan. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Walking Dead San Francisco is Fuller House. Oh. Did you guys read this one? Wait, did you guys? That would be amazing. Now I'd watch it. Yes. Did you guys read the that Olsen one? The Olsen twins are the zombies. Twins zombies well, just murder so everyone. There's two of them. <laughs> so for Fuller House, the Olsen twins are not going to be on this show, right? right? Did you hear read that thing? Uh, what's his name? Who played John Hamm? Sir John Hamm. John Hamm. John Stamos. <laughs> on Galvin, he was Sir John Hamm, which is awesome. Uh, he was being interviewed, and somebody asked him, you know, what about the Olsen twins? And he said that, that the showrunners actually approached Elizabeth Olsen's agents. Like, would she do it since the sisters won't? And the agent's response was, what, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, <laughs> of course I will. <laughs> let, her, let her stop filming Avengers yeah, she, and Civil right. War yeah, yeah. She, she to come on your Netflix show. She Scarlet Witch to uh, yeah, be you know. one of the monkey twins. What were their names? Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah, they look like monkeys when they were on that show. Did you they guys not though, think that? They looked like the little troll dolls, is what they, they looked did. like. They did. The monkeys. witch controls. Remember the witch controls? Yeah. That's what they look like. What are you kidding me? You have like ten thousand in your garage. I don't I was know. Gonna say, I don't don't even lie. Controls. No, I have lots of other stuff, but not. Don't those. lie. You have it, so. I don't want to know what else is in your garage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of a lot, a lot of, of popcorn Deadpools. buckets. I don't know. It's very weird. So. A lot of gold Deadpools. That's right. Have you guys been? Have you guys been following on Twitter? The emo Kylo Ren and lonely Luke Skywalker. Yeah, they have a they they, they start talking to each other. <laughs> they had a, like it's a little really spat. Great. It, have it you is... seen it, Edward? I've not seen it. Do you, you have a Facebook it? account? Do you actually it. go on Facebook? Nope. No. He doesn't do Twitter. He doesn't do Facebook. He's too cool for school. He man. is. Look at the beanie he's wearing. He's like, I got a license, and I'm I'm 13. I ride a Jetta. <laughs> That's bam. But it is some of the funniest. It's just it's fresh and it's funny and. They're getting pretty we have a key down low on each oh, other. Yeah. I mean, the very lonely Luke is very hitting funny. It, hitting it hard. It's good, yeah. I, the, the, I thought it was great. And then, like, when they just started the emo Kylo Ren. All right, Edward, what do you got? Uh-oh. Uh, have, you see, have you seen the Sherlock the Abominable Bride show? The new... The Sherlock the Abominable yeah. Bride? The new yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Have you guys watched not it? Seen I have not seen it. I missed it. Has anybody seen no. it yet? Can we find it anywhere? Where can we watch it on, is, like... Is that the BBC, Sherlock? Yeah, no, it's a BBC. But it was on PBS, wasn't it? Uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, Channel 11. You're the man. Thank you. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock, Channel 11. So when people are listening to All the right. show, it will already be passed. Yes. That'll be January 10th at 9 o'clock Central well, the people on that Channel are live streaming, they can go set their <laughs> TiVos you right You people now. out there. The right setting is my 1880s. There you go. 1880s. And 1880s. if you yeah, miss it, those listening to the podcast... Well, Lil will be happy to have you over to his house to watch it. I'm su- yes. <laughs> I would be surprised if it's not on Hulu. It's it not, might be on but Hulu. But it, 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 it might be on Hulu. I don't have Hulu. I don't know so. if they have Sherlock on there yet. And this is um, Dr. Strange, right? This yes. Is Senator Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Yeah, Martin Freeman. Please, we call him the Cumberbatch, okay? <laughs> I call him Doc. Anyone now is in a Marvel movie to me, that's how I 
that, you know. I understand. That's how that's I a very narrow, I'm a Marvel That's a very narrow boy. viewpoint. No, it's no, not. A little, really not. A I, I, I don't think it's everybody in Star Wars or Doctor Who, so that's... Well, there you go. Alil does six degrees of Marvel for everything. So, yeah. oh, were they in this movie with so-and-so from a Marvel movie? Right. And he knows. Exactly. And he refers to them only by their Marvel name. Well, not only Marvel. I mean, like, you know, the prestige is Batman versus Wolverine with Black Widow and Alfred. And Who is? In the, the prestige. prestige. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do the same thing. You know, Dallas Maybe Buyers you Club. <laughs> it's like, like oh, Dallas, Dallas Buyers, Buyers Club. Dallas oh, that's, you know. It's got Wooderson. Batman it's and Mystique. It's and Wooderson. It's a joke. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm here what's to he, buy What's he? Drugs. Who's he going to be? Who? Which one? Wooderson? Oh, um. No. Mc- yeah, he's McCona- gonna Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Gonna that's Wooderson. Yes. You just said no. Well, oh, I, I didn't know what you were asking me. I'm sorry. I was talking to Lou. <laughs> you weren't listening to me. No, I wasn't. That's okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Because my, he keeps, right, he keeps right. turning down roles, and it's upsetting. Yeah. He's got standards. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Why, why would I don't know he, why he would. Why I don't know why he wouldn't want to do it. Well, He'd be I, great. I think he's it's, waiting for the right role where they play bongos in their underpants. <laughs> Get coked up and do the. You know what? <laughs> maybe maybe they can make him the Silver Surfer. Because he can shut. Be, he can be just painted oh, silver. Like hair. make the flowing or shut. Just, just oh. put his hair back. As much as I want Doug Jones to reprise the role. Oh yeah. And we all love Doug Jones. Right. Yes. Doug Jones. But, but you know what? You make him the Silver Surfer and you bring Doug Jones into something else. That would be awesome. Could he be Plastic Man? No, Plastic Man's DC. I know. How dare you? He does not cross the streams. Although he could. It'd be acceptable for Doug. Get Ghostbusters in and we'll be a, get Sometimes. Ivan Reitman to direct it. It'd be, all right. It'd be great. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll watch it then. Um, yeah. Watch I'd Ghostbusters watch that. that way? Who, who could, you, Edward's just so lost on this episode. Who could Doug Jones be in the Marvel Universe? Universe. So. What, what character would it be would Doug Jones fit? In Marvel? Besides, yeah, I'm trying to think. Besides, would he besides be Vinny Barbarino in this scenario? Or I'm kidding. Um, nobody yes. laughed at that one? He's, That's because I it did. wasn't good. He's got, red hair. He's got red hair so he could be Julie. Yes. Um, all right. Who would he be in Marvel? Yeah, who do you think? Who do you think he would fit? Who would he fit? You know what? Get back to me. All right. He, he could have I'll been a Doctor Strange. We're going to have a whole other show called Where Does Doug Jones Fit in the yes. Marvel Universe? That could be a new segment on here. Oh, yeah. That could be a five. Yeah. How does he fit in this movie? We, we should actually play Six Degrees of Doug Jones. I bet we could really nail some. Do you know he was Mac Tonight? Remember Mac Tonight, the big moon on the McDonald's commercial? Yeah. He was that guy. What? So everybody that ever ate at McDonald's is one degree one away degree from away. Doug Jones. I'm about a million times. <laughs> well, Doug, Doug Jones hugged you. Oh, he, I'm yes. jealous still of that. It was, yes. That was a great day. Oh, yes. Chris what, and I talked about it often. I, mean, I just, just, want, fa- I just want one time in my life to have a male embrace. With Do you Doug realize Jones. in this last year, in 2015, as crappy as a lot of it was for us, <laughs> there was, we met Robert England. Mm-hmm. I hate you. We met Lando. I hate you. We hung out with Doug Jones. River hate Song. You. River Song. I wasn't there. Yes. You weren't there. You didn't go to, you didn't go to Des Moines. Um, who else did we meet? Uh, Fred there. Dalton. Brett Dalton. Jason uh, Mewes. Brett Dalton. I, I, I talked yes. to Brandon Jason Routh. Jason Mewes, yes. Brandon Routh. Oh, you talked to Brandon. I didn't Brent, talk yeah. to him. Who'd you meet, Edward? Superman, that's all right. Superman's good. I met the guys on League of Geeks. Of course. Unfortunately, yes. He's like, <laughs> well, he's like 2050 was great because I got to hang out with a Lil. <laughs> I'm internet famous. <laughs> one, one degree of separation from a Lil. <laughs> you, forget, you forget I am you internet famous. Did you You've two, gone to these cons, Edward. Who have you <laughs> met? You're Gosh. two degrees from anybody alone uh, met, which is a lot of people. Did you know who you met? Yes. I met Elvira, too. Who's yes, Ward? we did meet What's Elvira. His name? Ward from she- Brett Dalton. Brett Dalton. Brett Dalton. Yes. Oh, Brett. Yeah. Yes. And a little you know, got to interview him. And we got to interview him. I got Brett to, Dalton. It's Brett Dalton. I got to sit Brett. next to John from Carpenter. Mrs. Southgate. Brett. And I met John Luke Picard in a bathroom. You did. <laughs> yep. you say, that was fantastic, <laughs> by the way. And you told him to shake. I said, hey. <laughs> yeah. And you said, hey, hey, John Luke, what are you doing over there? Number two. Make it <laughs> hey, John, hey, John Luke, what's going on? It's like, what? I, I was going to walk around saying a telegram for John Luck Pickard, but I thought it was tasteless. JLP! You what's need that? to leave now. No, he was actually a really nice guy, so I was... Sure. Yeah. Who are we going to meet in 2016? You know who else I met? I met Ola, Ula, Ula, the one who plays um, in Star Wars? Katja on Archer. Ooh, really? Oh, and we met nice. we met uh, Lee Ehrenberg, who's grumpy, and he was also 
from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, he's hello, Pulpit. <coughs> that guy. Awesome. Yeah, you know what? He was in the Wizard. Oh, like, he shot. was absolutely. I watched this absolutely. morning. With, he was. I watched it this absolutely. morning with my kids, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, that's absolutely that's good. Good catch. I he have, was. He, I have his email at home. I'm gonna write to him and talk to him about that. Tell him I watched him in the Wizard with my kids. I'm gonna so write to Lee about that. The Wizard is such a great movie. Yes. Such it's a great eight, it's, that it's, is awesome. It's eighties at its best. Though, like when you the think about theme all the music. When you guys Slater, met, it's bad eighties at its best. It's, yeah, it's, Martha it's, and Molly. When I was off talking to Lou Ferrigno at one point, who I talked to, <laughs> uh, that's how they met. Comic Con. Sylvester Stallone. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Sylvester McCoy. Lou, Lou Ferrigno, Ferrigno, who we just they said. Met, <laughs> they met. Um, now I can't think of his name. Reading who? Rainbow. Oh, LeVar Burton? LeVar, LeVar Burton. Burton. Yes. LeVar Burton and Lou Sylvester Frank Stallone now. are the same guy, yeah. They clearly are. They this look is in alike. 2000. They're like brothers. From <laughs> they could be twins. Yes, because Lou Ferrigno is 6'7". And was, and, oh, he's only 6'4". And, and it was and capped Sylvester off Stallone is two foot three. by Doug Jones. Doug Jones, yes. I mean, it was, that was like the pinnacle of it was Doug Jones. Wait, we Although... You did. That doesn't count because I think I knew him Max. already. <laughs> And, and oh, Timothy Amundsen, yeah, and, and, Ooh, yeah, and right. me in a Baymax costume, just painted yes. white. D- Hold on, <laughs> shave him. Wait, I got to make sure it goes down. <laughs> Check it out. Wait, are we still doing our show? We uh, hope. I hope so. We need to. We're just talking about whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing happened this week. As you week. said, what did you say in the beginning? Uh oh. Stallone is done with Rambo, so there's a a Rambo TV show that we were speculating whether he'd be on. He says he's done. Hey, I'm too old. Yeah, I don't do but it. But he'll do another yeah. Rocky. He'll do Creed too. Well, but he'll, you know yeah, what? He'll do it because he doesn't have to. But he can he wear like. He doesn't have to carry it. No, I, I mean, just wear a hoodie and sweatpants. In he that was now. phenomenal in Creed. I'm not joking. I I thought Stallone right. was phenomenal he's, in Creed. He's a talented guy. I mean, he just. I can't believe he wrote because you know, I yeah. this week AMC had the Rocky Marathon, so my kids watched Creed with me, and then they. All of a sudden, Rocky was on, and I'm explaining to them who Rocky is. I'm like, right. remember the movie we just watched? And they were just fascinated. No. And they watched all of them. We yeah. watched a lot of them, then they made me record them. I haven't seen Rocky. I know who Rocky is. Really? I just haven't seen any of the movies. Okay. Somebody, William, you, you've got to sit down with yeah. him and watch some Rocky movies, okay? It'll toughen this kid up. He's like Rocket Raccoon? Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I read that in highlights. Absolutely. Um, so. Hey, did you hear that there's a Bad Santa 2 coming out? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard about it on a little show called This Week in Geek. We've talked yeah, about it. We have it. talked about that. But because you know Kathy Bates is on it. But you know who else is going to be in it? Christina Hendricks. Yes. So, so he went, he, he's had uh, Lauren, the one from uh, Gilmore Girls, yeah. was his girlfriend in the first one. And now his girlfriend for this it's Christina Hendricks. is going to be Christina Hendricks. I mean, perfect. And Kathy Bates is playing his mom. That is Four actually stars. perfect. And speaking, of, speaking of her. That is perfect. She Four is stars. unbelievable in American Horror Story Hotel. She is. Who is? Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Bates. Oh. Is she? unbelievable. If you've not seen it at home, if you guys haven't seen Kathy, it out here, she's one it you is can't name amazing. something bad that she's done, though. Well, I don't know about that. I, well, I can't think of a movie where she's been bad in it. She is really an excellent actress. And Agreed. she's killer on Horror it, Story. It's, it's a little uh, adult-themed. But yeah, it's, Edward, you're not watching this one at all. Amazing. Molly, no. Mom, no. Not for hey, any of you. Hey, Dad Nick, would think it's too gr- gruesome. Nick, Nick, could you turn the heat up a little bit? Thanks. Although he would say chips is too gruesome. Uh, I don't know. The heat is... Have you heard the heat that? Is on, hey, that's good. There's a rumor out that Christopher Waltz says that he would be signed on for two more James Bond movies. Yes. But if. only if <laughs> Daniel Craig will be... Right. Do you think so this is a non story. story. Well, it is, but it's the hold hostage. It's the right. I'll yeah. do it, but I don't really want to do it. I'll do it only. If, I tell you what. Well, he knows Daniel, Daniel Craig's Craig not coming back. I want to put this out there right now. I will watch the next two Bond movies if Daniel Craig is in them. I'm holding him hostage now. Yeah, because they Sony really cares what you think. <laughs> um, no one cares. Um, do we care? No, All right. I want to talk no. about trailers. <laughs> Conjuring 2, you guys see the trailer? Yes. Sure. A little, I can, Geekstradamus is now going to do predictions. Hold on. Geekstradamus. Alil is not going to like this. Chris is going to think it's awesome. Edward is afraid. <laughs> How right am I? I? 
I don't think it's awesome, but I think it's intriguing. I think it looks cool. Yeah. I didn't say it's going to be good. No. I, I love think, it, though. I think, I think it has potential to be a movie, a watchable movie. A That's, watchable movie, Well, exactly. say, I mean, I would go watch and it, but it's not like I'm going to go I'm, wait uh, out here's wait the thing, Here's the thing. A watchable movie to me is, yeah, I'm not going to go to the theater and pay for right. it. I'll wait for it to come on cable. Or I'll sure. do five dollars. I hate to do fine. it. I'll do. I'll, I don't even I'll think do I would do five dollars. If you have ten dollars, you can get a five dollar foot long too. And then you can bring that into the theater. Yes, that's oh, math. I do. <laughs> that I'm is math. Right. Uh, and still buy the big bucket of popcorn and the large. You know what coat, horror so. movie I can't wait for? <laughs> the one that Quentin Tarantino wants to do. Yeah. yeah. Is he gonna? But he's always throwing stuff like this out there. I I hope he does. One. He hasn't done one. You know that that's. Just, I mean, I don't consider. His movies are not horror films. Yeah, no. I, don't, I don't consider it, but he, he wants to do something that is truly terrifying. He should. So my guess is he wants to go old school kind of Last House on the Left kind of stuff, you right. know, that kind of stuff. And that, that, that fits or him. Deadly Friend. And that would be, yeah. yes. Or Drop Chopping Dead. Ball. Chop, <laughs> drop Dead Friend. Um, that's <laughs> imagine, a, imagine that's a terrifying movie. Like a, um, I know Night a guy who Drop Dead, drop dead well, Fred. <laughs> I know, he, he's sitting right over there. No, I actually <laughs> know a guy that was in it. You remember when they were in with all the, the other uh, imaginary friends? Credited or yes, extra? Okay. The, we look, at now he's this. throwing that out there. Well, you threw that out at me. So of I'm course I did. Um, remember how they had all the imaginary friends? There's one guy that looks kind of like Danny DeVito. Like he's, he's like roundish and balding, and he's wearing like a, like a wrestling outfit. You are describing a movie I haven't seen in 20 years. I totally know that guy. His name is Tom. Great. I, <laughs> Good for you, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy nice that I know job. that's a good friend guy. Nice I know job. that guy sitting in the background and yeah. No, no, he's he's in it throughout the film. Okay. Oh, like, I, that is true though. If you know the people that Rob knows are usually the guys that die in the first fifteen minutes of a show. <laughs> yeah, my buddy's gonna be on Gotham. <laughs> yeah, Walked boom, in, shot in the dead. head. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> that does happen quite a bit. It, it does. It's okay though. That's no, it, they, they've done more than I have, so that's <laughs> fine. I'm That's, not making. I'm not picking out. Did him for you that. Guys, I'm picking out him for knowing you. Right. Did you guys see the trailer for Elvis and Nixon? Oh yes. Did you see it? Yes. <laughs> Do you know who Elvis and Nixon are? Yes. Okay. How about you? Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I then, was, hold on. I was it's just not dis- Cynthia Nixon. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's not Cynthia Nixon. I was just disappointed wait, that Bruce Campbell Thomas wasn't is now Elvis. going to tell oh, us what everybody it's, thinks. It's the next best thing. I know. <laughs> Chris is going to love it. Alil is going to be iffy. Edward doesn't know who they are. You're going to think it's amazing. So, <laughs> uh, and I think it's amazing. Wait, Geekstradamus says Rob will think this is amazing. I, Michael Shannon is Elvis. Yeah, it, it, no, Kevin it, it is Spacey great. is Nixon. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Colin Hanks is in it. Yes. And the guy, I'm going to lose my mind. The guy from uh, what was the movie? What did what I were say you today? Pointing at the wall, what? Uh, Evan Peters is in yeah. it. Holy cow! Four stars. I'm it's down. It looks I am down. It doesn't matter who else is in it. If Kevin Spacey's in it, it's going to be fantastic. And Evan Peters. Yeah. I'm at three and a half. Michael Shannon. Just because I do like Michael Shannon, but... Three and a half? I say two. I, I still think that Bruce Campbell should have been Elvis. It looks too stupid for <laughs> Or Christian Slater. I don't like... It, it, just, it looks Christian too Slater would have been great. <laughs> it you know looks what? Like it's going to make a perfect double movie. feature with Bubba Hotep. That's what uh, it's going to be. Ah, Bubba the, Hotep. The problem See? is, Bruce you think it looks stupid. Much. Yes. Under t- he can work that out. This Why do you CGI. think it looks stupid? Is it I, on camera right here? It's CGI but it's a true story. I look amazing. It's Elvis it's like Johnny Depp. That really to the, happened. To I know, but it just. <laughs> <laughs> you need to bone up on your quirky Elvis knowledge, and then you'll oh, find how funny it is. And when you're done with that, move on to this the, whole thing the, about him Brian getting Wilson. the FBI. I mean, just it's, it's amazing. It's, the whole story is going to be fantastic. Amazing, and Michael Shannon is Elvis. I mean, I was I was dying on this trailer. Did anyone else see the trailer? He could be. Uh, he could You're do all going to go see it, right? He yeah. could do it. He could totally. do it. He could totally do it. Yes. Michael Shannon's great. Oh, he's fantastic. He's, all right. Did any of oh, you guys check out? Did, did, did any so of you guys check out Chronicles of Narnia that started on MTV? You guys know what Narnia? Well, or not? Not Shannara. <laughs> not Narnia. Shannara. I'm sorry, I misspoke it. I was like, I, that's what? okay. Molly, was Molly's been reading Chronic- all the early Chronicles all the- of Shannara. Have you guys read no, the book? No. Is it good? No. Is it, I mean, it's the it was. Show good? I thought it was surprisingly I good. I like the She-Ra. trailer was awesome. Um, so Terry Brooks wrote a, a two two sets of um, trilogies about this land called Shannara, which is like post-apocalyptic, Ooh. kind of, but it's it's like. Lord of the Rings post-apocalyptic because they it's set on Earth in the future. Huh. Um, 
it was really interesting and really captured. Manu Bennett plays one of the lead characters, and he plays a, a druid who's like this very powerful human magic user. Just beats up Amazing. people on the street. I didn't know oh, yeah. it no, he I, he saw, looks, I saw reviews were A couple days ago. Okay. Fan, was, I think it was Wednesday. I thought it was really, really good. Huh. Um, who's the guy who plays uh, Gimli? Is that John Reese davies Yes. He plays. He's oh, a, he's, he's in it? He's in it. He looks, he looks old, but he looks, he, he's fantastic, and he's you know, over the top. It's really, really good. Uh, All right. Well, you know what? I did see a preview for that. Yeah, you should watch it. It's was, I'm like, awesome. That's right, because I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, my God, it's Gimli. Yeah. And if, we talked about it on This Week in Geek. We, had, we did talk about it. it was coming up, but I am down. You should, you should check it out. They've, they've got it out on... Um, is it on Hulu or? I don't know. It was on MTV on Wednesday, so it's going to be It'll out be there pretty Hulu. soon. And they have the next two episodes Are you on it? MTV app on Probably your phone. Not. So very you, cool. you should check it you out. It's watch good. It. You'd like this. It, it's not very kid friendly, though. It's a little uh, risque. But you can watch it, Edward. I think it's PG 13. You're, You're okay. In. So I'm one year, one year, then I can watch it. It's a soft it's, R. It's not a hard R. It's a, it's a half a PG 13. So you're okay. But it's pretty, it, it looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm excited. Just don't watch the, the previews for Teen Mom because you are not allowed. <laughs> Teen Mom is so great. <laughs> oh, it's good awesome. Lord. Awesome. Um, have, you seen the, have you seen the trailer for Teen the Mom TV too? show Damien? Heck yeah. Did you guys see this trailer? I did not. Is it did part not. of the Omen? Do you know what it is? Is it the Omen? Thomas says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Rob's going to love it. <laughs> Amazing. You know Mark what? Mark Rylo's going to not know what it is. <laughs> no, it is. Oh. You're getting good at this. Uh, day, it is a sequel to the original Damien. Like at one point, he's, he walks up and he sees a picture and it's the original family. He's like, my parents. And you're like, that is totally awesome. So is he, is he he's older an like adult. in now? He's, he's like an adult, 20 years. But they're not doing any of the old. final conflict. Or so none of that, that stuff where he was a politician? Is this Edward? Yeah, yes. we don't. Yeah, wow. What does he know about the omen? No, I, Rob hijacks everything, but it's the omen, so... So, Edward, I will digress. You tell us about it. I have You've no already idea digressed. what it's about. <laughs> he just asked if we'd seen it. Did have, you like I've, the trailer? I liked it. I thought did, it was interesting. Did you I see the omen? I don't really know a lot of so you TV don't know shows the that do it. You can't no. see it. It's an R. Is it an R? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That, that, like from back then, though, it's a 70s R. Oh, so it's oh like a, exactly. It's, it's like a, a G. It's, it's, it's a G. G. Now. Your kids have seen it 20 times. Right. I know. My kids love The Exorcist. But it, it even <laughs> had like a scene where he's standing there, and then you saw the, 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 the pit bulls or whatever, the Dobermans come up behind him, and I'm like, it's right out of the right. original. The Gregory, it was Gregory Peck, right? Peck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's who was in the picture. Did we review Ellen that? Burst- we, the, did review we did that. review we that. We did yeah. review that, yeah. The, the, the original movie is a lot of fun. This is a successor to that movie. So forget that other garbage. Awesome. That's some, I hope it's good. I, but it, it said the producers were from... Did you catch who they were? It said they were from Walking Dead and something else. Brought to you by the producers of two cool things. Sponsored by Jimmy John's? Who knows? Sponsored by Jimmy John's. Sweet. Who knows? All right, I got one. Uh, NBC finally ordered the pilot for Powerless. It's a DC show. Yeah, yeah, the DC uh, comedy. It's the DC's version of The Office. So it'll yeah. be people working in an office building talking about what's going on in the... Hands up, who thinks that's going to be DC awful? DC Universe. Really? Who's going to be yeah, okay. awful? I, I, Steve DC Carell is uni- not in it. Yeah, DC Universe version North of The North Office Rick where it's, so it's, it's like insurance people dealing with superheroes. Yep. <laughs> I knew Only it. if I was on it because I work in an insurance. insurance adjuster. Because I'm an insurance adjuster. <laughs> Wait, Hashtag. Geeks Hashtag. Thomas says, a little, you're an insurance adjuster. Geeks <laughs> Thomas is right. Um, Geeks Thomas is wrong. Let's We're going to get else. you a hat. I have one. <laughs> the great so, Karnak. The great oh, geek. Guy. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. You probably won't know about this, but it's for Magic the Gathering. They're releasing the next set. They're having the pre-release next week. It Ooh. seems like they're releasing new ones like every week. It's actually not. They they cut it down a lot. How often no. do they release? Because it used to be every day. Now every, it's every week. It's every it other seem week. Like he just said this like two weeks ago. Like oh, hey, like got a new set or, or, yeah. I, 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 it was about the spoilers that was like a is few that months this ago. Set that so you yes, were the, about. this set. So the set is coming Correct. out. The now. set is coming out. Next week is the pre-release, and it's it's the second. None of the, the second hmm? part of the Eldrazi set. It's okay. a very big was, one. It's so. Are you and Scott going to do a podcast about this? He's not here. You don't look around the room. I, d- I don't know. All right. All right. I'm going to make you guys do it. Okay. 
Geekstradamus says. Geekstradamus. We'll just get the microphones out and That's right. what happens. Rob, awesome. Rob doesn't believe in child labor. Are you excited laws. for this? Or are you like already like? <laughs> I'm excited for it. I'm going to be cool. getting uh, boosted. Dipping box. into your car fund to get one? Sure. Yeah. I knew it. How many Matchbox cars do you have now? Uh, Never mind. Is it bad All right, that just... I don't really know what those are? <laughs> you don't even know. It's Hot Wheels, Matchbox, wait, wait. same thing. Okay. What did you Hot see? Wheels. Did you see Green Lantern? Because <laughs> it had that stupid Hot Wheel in it. Stupid Green Lantern. And the, and the, you hate that movie just because of that one just scene. Just for that scene. Yes. So but, Ryan, is, but Ryan Reynolds is amazing. Um, uh, yes, he is. M. Um, Night Shyamalan and Ding Dong is re- doing Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, because he, he can't do any more movies that it's are gonna any good. It's going to be on TNT, good. and you know what? That's not true. I don't think he's... He just can't finish a movie. I think he's... Well, he wants to make a sequel to The Last Airbender. Why? Yeah, he does. That I know. was terrible. He wants another shot. Yeah. yeah. Too bad. He can't, no, what's the last but, good Shyamalan movie? But said? I don't know why he's the one in charge of this. It's just he's attached to it. He's attached to it because... He might produce it or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but... And they said that, that they also released that they're going to not have the Crypt Keeper in it. Well, then, so I, don't, like, then I don't even want to see it. It's not Tales from the Crypt. That was then. the best part of the story. Because wasn't that kind of the thing? The Crypt Keeper Crypt Keeper was great, yeah. They laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's all of it. It's you like, don't know this? It's like having the Twilight Zone without nope. any kind of like intro. You know what I mean? I, I know, you know. Right. Right. You're missing out. That was a great show. I love that show. But you, Anyone know, else you don't know it? Tales from the Crypt? You guys all watched no. it, right? Oh. Scott didn't it, like it. Yeah, Scott. Don't you did or did Scott's didn't. reviews. You didn't. If it, if it was an episode? old That's Kino it? version of it, he did. Were you more of a Tales from the it, Dark Side fan? Is that what it was? No. Wow. Too scary. Too scary. If Too maybe scary. if Edison had put it out, then he'd be. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, um, have did you, you seen in Star Wars that that the the stormtrooper with the yeah the, blade the, the, guy? the the thing which everybody was calling TR eight R? Actually, they gave him a backstory now because they didn't think. He's awesome in they the didn't movie, think, Yeah, he is awesome in the movie. Like, yeah. They said he's, F, he's uh, FN2199, and they call him nines. And so they're, they're thinking that they're going to try and develop him because people really took a, a liking to him, especially well, on Well, because face. he, like, stands out from the stormtrooper. Did right. he get killed? No, he did not get killed. He got shot, though. He, he, no, he didn't, did he? How did he get off of Finn? He has Uh-oh. been dead to rights. I thought they Let's shot go. Him. We got to go see the I movie can't, again. I thought yes. Han shot him. I can't remember. Back. I'm sure Maybe William knows. No, no. He got shot with Chewbacca's... Bowcaster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's done that. He, yeah, he's I don't dead. think he got shot with the Bowcaster. I think he, I think he just got shot with Han's gun. I think it was one Maybe of the guys in a white a, outfit that got shot. You know shot. what? They could, they could, Many of them. It's just a flesh wound. It's just a they flesh wound. Right. They could bring him back because he's got the cool baton. Maybe his hand got shot off. That does happen in the Star Wars universe. Yes. So, and he's a robot. And then oh, how about all spoiler, the, people lose hands in Star Wars. I know. Yeah. What? And then um, all the Ray, all the Ray stuff father. that Ray is not in, like all of these all the Monopoly and all, and all that stuff, yeah, and people yeah. are going they're, nuts. They're, they're fixing that. Well, and I, I, I'm betting, I'm wondering if it's a marketing ploy to resell stuff. Could I hate be. to be like that. No, so. you, know, you know what it is? And, and it's, it's, it's true. I love toys, and it's true in, in just right. the history of toys. Even with Avengers and Black Widow, they, they didn't put up enough Black Widow right. stuff out there. Because they see little boys, you know, getting a T-shirt, they, they don't want the girl on it. But we're in a different generation that they don't care. They want that. Like my kid likes Black Widow, well, likes Gamora. I mean, right. who like, would want he, a Black Widow but, shirt? But not only is Black she, Widow's I have awesome. her on my it's shirt. It's not even that she's prominent. She is the main character in the movie. Right. It's not like she's even on the side. Like yeah. even in Avengers, like Black Widow, she is. One a, a of, side character. One of five. One, she's yeah. a side character. As important as she is, she's the main character. Oh, we didn't think she'd be important, huh? Yeah, if you're well, going to put out the, Monopoly and you're going to pick characters for it, she they're, better they're, be one of them. Their, their excuse was right. they didn't want to spoil what side she would be on. Light or dark. You know, because in the, you know, she didn't have a lightsaber That is the what they said. And they, they said that actually, it's funny because before the film <coughs> came out, I remember reading an article how they said that you're not seeing Ray in this stuff because we don't want to spoil that. Like, it was left off of everything. Well, <clears throat> but then after the movie comes out, and everyone knows, and they're like, why isn't it in the toys? It's like, right. well, wait a minute. They did a preemptive strike on this and said, we did this on purpose. Well, and they did because they had that, that figure that came out early that... Um, that had the picture, right? That, that had the, the, that, the picture, but you saw the, she had the blue lightsaber. Right. They also, actually, the day, that Friday morning, like, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a geek and I love toys. I always look at Disney Store whenever I get a coupon. They actually had a blue... Wait, wait. I'm a Disney Club member. You I am a Disney that. Vacation See? Club member. 
Um, they had a, the, the FX collectibles lightsabers. They had one that was Ray's lightsaber, and I'm like, that's crazy soon to put that out. But yeah. they were waiting until the last minute, possible right. minute to put all that right. stuff out. The problem is, I think they missed the boat. That Monday after the movie came out, all the, that's when it should have all debuted with the Ray figures and everything. Right. By waiting even a day past that, now they're suspect. It's yeah. too bad. Black Widow yeah. is definitely a mistake. The, they the take Bla- Black the, Widow out of everything. The Black right. Widow and Gamora. I think Gamora was even, Gamora too. Was even a bigger offense than than Widow. Yeah. Oh, because I don't think a bigger. I don't, I don't think anybody knew what Widow, Widow was going to be in Avengers until after Avengers. Right. And then they had toys for her in Captain America: Winter Soldier and stuff. Right. Again, still not enough. Right. But I think it's I think it's changing. You're Gamora wasn't change. a question though. Gamora was pretty right. You knew that Gamora right. was coming. It's not like yeah. oh, by right. the way. Right. And they had her. Enough, they didn't have her anything. I mean, my right. kids have a ton of stuff, and my, all my kids love Guardians of the Galaxy. And the mm-hmm. girls were like, "We want Gamora." And like, there's two action figures. That's it. But yet, I get thirty Rocket Raccoons, thirty Groots. You know, thirty. Wow. Uh, okay, we're about done. I just want to hit. I had two more things, and now I lost them. Oh. March 25th, it's been announced, Daredevil Season 2. I thought it was the 18th. No, it's 25th. 18th. They moved it. They just oh, moved they moved it? it? Yep. March 18th. Is, is that the same weekend as Batman v Superman? No, nope, they moved it a week up. Oh, earlier. they moved it. A, okay, earlier, I didn't see it. that. I, I saw this today that it was the 25th, which is the same weekend as Batman v Superman. I thought, I thought, uh, but they moved it back. Oh. Uh. So they're, they're still, still doing it. The Wednesday, like the Wednesday night, Thursday night. Right, so they're still hitting it a couple of days before, but it's still going to be competition for yep. it. Right. I mean, they're still striking at the same time. I don't know if it's going to hurt box office. It's not. It's, it's, it's not. I mean, it's... No, but it's interesting that they chose then to do this. Mm-hmm. Well, I was surprised. I mean, that's a month earlier than what they had said. So it, I'm excited. I'm more excited for this. I can see it hurting the box office if this was actual a release. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, in the theaters, like Daredevil, like hey, watch thirteen hours of Daredevil in the movie theaters, <laughs> like they do with everything else nowadays. Make that but, happen. Would you totally go if they did a marathon season two, one sitting? <laughs> Boom. I might consider. That. I would totally do that. I might consider that. Three I, I, small popcorn. I couldn't sit through like all the the Marvel and Star Wars and stuff. This is not be, because I've seen it, but this being thirteen hours of like fresh Daredevil. New, oh, I think it'd be pretty cool. Edward. Just waiting for Make Vincent. it happen, Netflix. Waiting for Vincent D'Onofrio to come out. Oh, D'Onofrio. <laughs> we'll take Edward. We're going to have a, a This Week in Geek uh, uh, road trip. We're going to go see Deadpool. A little can't go because he's got to work. But on that uh, Tuesday, after, after Deadpool comes Wait, out, the three of us are going to go. He's working at home. What are you talking about? So? Sorry. Sorry I have a job. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm sorry. <laughs> How dare you, woman? What? They also um, finally had a gate, date for Game of Thrones, which is April 24th. Yeah, and they've said that they're going to extend it two more seasons, so you've got seven and eight coming, too. Yeah. And then, uh, last thing I have, Michael Bay is directing Transformers 5. For, for the last time. Yeah. The Did fifth he one say, for the last time? Wasn't yeah. the third one the last time? <laughs> he said the fifth one for the last time. He wants one for every finger. 60% of the time, yeah. it works all of the time. Yeah. <laughs> One for the thumb, is that what this one's called? I think so. Yeah. What? Or dumb? Either that or it's one for the middle finger, because if you just put them on, never mind. Uh, I don't, what was yours? already made a joke. Well done, Martha. <coughs> wow. Are we done? She's, this done. is inappropriate for Sadly, this Sadly, I don't. Tomorrow. Again, two weeks in a row, what do you do? Yep. <laughs> are we done? We're done. We're done. Are you done? Chris, are you done? I'm done, Good, yeah. Good, goodbye, interwebs. Geekstradamus says... We're all finished. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Blue Box. Thank you. uh, That was This Week in Geek. We'll see you next Saturday.